invitation to speak here today. When injustice becomes law, resistance becomes duty. In the age of permanent war, global, global economic meltdown, climate change and attacks on civil liberties, every freedom fighter for truth and justice is very welcome and desperately needed. So I want to thank Snowden, Manning and Assange for exposing what has been happening that's been kept secret from us, from exposing some of the critical truths that we need so desperately to show up the fake democracy that we've got and so we can start building an alternative to this very corrupt and morally absolutely despicable system that we've got today. So thank you. Now Snowden, Assange and Manning together with other whistleblowers have actually done something very, very important and that's why they're so ferociously hunted down. They have not just exposed war crimes and the spying, but what they've actually exposed is that our real enemies are not in Iraq or in Afghanistan or Iran, but they are right here in the middle of Australia and in the middle of the US. That's what they have exposed. And that's why they are hunted down. And together with these incredibly brave individuals, any brave government is also hunted down. And we've seen that with the absolute despicable act of, of air uh, piracy against the Bolivian president, Evo Morales. That was one of the most disgusting, shameful acts we've seen in a long time. But I also want us today here to salute the incredible, courageous people of Venezuela that have taken a stand against the bullying of US imperialism and have said, no, we will not let you attack our country, our rights, and we will grant asylum to Snowden. Thank you. They deserve a very, very big applause. Snowden has now joined Assange and, and uh, Manning as one of the most feared and hunted enemies of the state of the United States. Well, I say if these three guys are the enemy of the states, the U.S. is the enemy of humanity. The U.S. has built the world's largest surveillance system. This surveillance system is penetrating every single one of our lives. Every single one of ours. They don't just know what we do and what we write. They also judge us. They judge us on every action, every single action. It is one of the gravest violations of human rights when a political system perpetrates automatic, persuasive and unwarranted spying on innocent people. Shame! Shame. But as one National Security Agency recruiter put it so confidently not long ago at a recruiting session in the States, the world is our playground. The world is our playground. This is what they say. And the Australian government is completely implicit in this entire spying action. Absolutely implicit. Through the Five Eyes Agreement, which allows the US to monitor, spy on us, and lets the Australian government use all this information to spy on its own people. So the Socialist Alliance calls on an immediate end to the secret intelligence arrangements and any kind of illegal monitoring of uh, communication in Australia by both the Australian and other agencies. We must also condemn the invasion and intimidation of ASIO and other Australian security agencies, of any kind of activists that support self-determination of the Palestinians, the Tamils, the Kurds and others. We condemn these invasions of privacy. And we also condemn having refugees on trial because ASIO will not grant them security clearance. This must end. The vast majority of the world is being governed by the powerful forces of greed, profit and control. 
But these forces and their managers, which are really our governments, they are just the managers of these massive corporations, they are losing more and more moral authority across the globe. Their ideas and their models have become bankrupt and they're losing support. And that's precisely why they want to crack down on our civil liberties more and more. And let's be clear, they are scared of all of us losing our fear. Because without fear, anything is possible. Anything is possible. I like bringing props. This is my special prop here today. Courage is contagious. Let us all blow the whistle on Big Brother. Right here, right now, everywhere across the world. And let us take courage and inspiration from the millions of people that are protesting neoliberalism, repression and war all across the globe. Let us take heart and courage from this incredible, incredible determination of people who have lost their fear so that we can get on with the job of truly building a world where everybody is respected and that we can be proud of living in. Thank you very much.